Yep. I'm back. I see you are too. I really appreciate it. Oh! What up, great people? How you doing? Today is day 18 of releasing all that mediocre tea. How you doing? So Boss Rock, man, January 18, 2015. We 18 days in, feeling good, feeling wonderful, feeling absolutely amazing. Thank y'all for watching. Appreciate it very much. Continue to subscribe, tell your friends, like them. Hey, if you dislike, cool too, man. I thank you for watching, even if you dislike it. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the foundation of everything we do that either propels us or continues to hold us back. It's not really mediocre in one sense, but it can be in another. And that is our belief system. Now, when I say beliefs, I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about your spiritual beliefs. Though that those things can be limiting, you know, I know a bunch of people who believe in things and they only see it one way. <laughs> and I know the world is 360 degrees. So I think that's the minimum amount of ways we can take any road to get to anywhere, you know. Um, so in that, our beliefs. Our beliefs are our foundation. They determine where we're gonna go, how we're gonna get there, and the people we're gonna travel with. And since our beliefs determine these things, sometimes we have to reevaluate our beliefs. Uh, I remember when I was a youth, I couldn't have been no more than about eight or nine, maybe not even that old, maybe seven. Uh, George Lucas, released um, Empire Strikes Back. Now, I'm a big Star Wars fan, you know, so I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm just, you know, all into it. You know, there's Luke going through his training with Yoda, with Yoda and um, then it gets to a point where Luke's ship sinks into the moat and Luke was trying to use the force to bring the ship up and couldn't bring the ship up. Then Yoda was like, move to the side, little shorty, I got this. And then the ship, the ship raises and it floats through the air and it lands right in front of Luke. And Luke went over to the ship and he's like, oh man, oh man, I, I, I don't need this. And then Yoda said these words right here, and I never forgot this. As many times I watched Empire Strikes Back, it's probably been about a thousand times. These words were the most powerful words in that whole entire series of movies. Luke said, I don't believe this. And Yoda said, that is why you failed. And I, I, I didn't really attach that until I got older. Somewhere around, <laughs> uh, maybe around 38 is when I really <laughs> observed it. And I started um, seeing why I'm not getting the results I really want in my life. It's because I did not truly believe that I could have those things. And once I started to change my beliefs about who I am and what I want and what I desire and what level of magnitude I want to express, then my beliefs started to shift as well. So once my beliefs started to change, then my actions started to change. Once my actions started to change, my results started to change. And I'm telling you people, it is our beliefs that are either propelling us to go for everything or it is our beliefs that are holding us back from doing everything. We surrounded by people a lot of times who don't support our highest interests. They don't support us being better than who we are and who we could be. Because inside of us, there is a seed and that seed is, is, is a, so small and it's called greatness, it's called eminence. And once you start watering that seed, once you start absorbing and letting the rays of the outer sun manifest inside of that sun and you start being around people 
who are doing the things that you wish to accomplish in your life into the future, I guarantee you that seed is going to start sprouting. But you got to plant multiple seeds of greatness. You just can't plant one. You got to plant multiple seeds of greatness because it's, it's multiple parts of who we are. So we got to be great in every area of our lives. And that's one of my missions to help everybody that I come in contact with to excel in every area of their life. Not just be great in one thing. That's cool. But let's be great in our character for one. And only way we can be great in our character is we gotta believe that we can achieve the highest level of our character. And one thing I always believe is that you can never have too much humility. We can never have too much humility. Humility is the cornerstone, I'm telling you. When I used to be younger, I used to be so confrontational. I used to be so arrogant. And today I look back and I'm like, man, I wouldn't even like me looking back at that dude, you know, because he thought he knew it all. He, uh, he thought he was fresh to death at everything. And he really was kind of just insecure about a lot of things, but he was wearing that, that outer mask to kind of compensate for that. And that's one thing and two that holds us back it's our insecurities, it's our immaturity, it's the uh, part of being feeling like we're insignificant, um, ignorance. Those four things, those four eyes are the reason why a lot of us are not in a state of belief within ourselves and it keeps us in a state of disbelief. So, man, the message of today in releasing mediocrity is, man, believe in you. I don't care what's going on in the world. It's about what's going on inside. We live in houses, but this is the home. And if the home is littered with insecurity, immaturity, irresponsibility, and ignorance, you're not gonna achieve. You will never achieve the, the greatness that you know you can achieve. We gotta clean all that litter up and all that clutter. We gotta move that out the, out the home. We gotta move this out the house. And then when you move those things out the house, all that, that chitter chatter and uh, gossiping and all that, once you move that stuff out the crib, I'm telling you, and you start bringing in all the beautiful things, you're going to reflect beauty at the same time. You're going to reflect that magnificence of the sun that's outside because that's the same sun inside. So with that, people, man, believe in yourselves. I believe in you. I support you. Continue to support me. Subscribe, like, share the videos. I love y'all. I'm going to check y'all out tomorrow on day 19. You know why? Because I plan on being here. Deuces.